dehydrating to death. A horror story about why you should keep rehydrated during the working day. Not only for yourself, but for practice as well. I'm going to share with you a horror story around dehydration and then a way in which it can help you improve your concentration and your workflow during the day. Let's get started. So I'd been out for a run on a really important day that was going to have a potential customer on a webinar. Now the customer thought must have thought that I couldn't have looked any less interested in what was going on because the truth is I hadn't hydrated properly and it was causing me to have really good big cramps within my whole body and all I was doing was shifting around the seat trying to stay comfortable. The truth is I probably wasn't paying as much attention as I should have done because I could not keep control of the pains that was going on. My lesson was to make sure that I rehydrate properly. Rehydrating is also important to keep focus, not just cramp, but also keep focus for the rest of the day so that you're as focused at four o'clock in the afternoon as what you were when you got into the office at eight or nine o'clock. My challenge to you is very simply this. Work out how much water you should be drinking and start keeping a tag on how much that you've drunk during the day. We had Celine Morin at one of our mastermind events recently and she gave us a very, very simple calculation. Get your weight in kilograms and times that by 0.033 and that will give you the amount of litres per day that you should be drinking. I had to add a little bit of maths into this conversation and I'm sure all you accountants will be buzzing now that you can go off and have a look and do some sums for yourself. <laughs> 